as tall in it, this bad boy. This is the Frontier XD. That's why it looks extra tall on me. An amazing, amazing bibby. I absolutely love it. The reason I'm using the XD is simple. I tend to bob around from water to water around the world. Knowing I have this bigger bibby gives me more space. It's not a ludicrous size. It fits into pretty much any swim I've been to on carp lakes, even some really tight ones. I've managed to get this in. So I've got loads of space, plus the design of the Frontier. The fact that you can push your bed chair right to the back, so it almost has this flat back wall you push the bed chair right against it. And then because I'm using the flat liner as well, you've got added height in that particular bed chair. So you can put um, your Aquios sort of EVA pouches underneath. You can even put smaller brew bags and everything else underneath. And it gives you the whole front, not only as a canopy, um, but it also obviously protects you from the rain. And if you're not using it, sometimes I don't even put the mozzie infill panel and I just use it like a big brolly. So you've got great coverage coming right round and you, you know, you're protected from the elements. I love that side of it. Now, the important part, there's a lot of brilliant bivvies out there on the market. There's lots, there's lots to choose from. So how do you take something forward? That's what Fox have done with the Frontier. It's a step ahead of what else is available on the market today. The biggest thing I like is the speed of erection and packing it down. And it's these side poles in particular that I think's made the biggest difference. The way the joints align perfectly, so it just speeds up the process. You're talking, you know, gaining 30 seconds to a minute in the app, you know, in the setup of a bivy, and that makes a bit of difference. You know, we don't like the aggro; it's hot. You want things to go up easy. You don't want to be struggling with poles going into each other. The frontier is seamless in that effect. Another element worth pointing out is the actual hydrostatic head on this bivy. It has a 20,000 millimetre hydrostatic head. What does that mean in layman terms? It means it doesn't get any more waterproof than this bad boy. And that leads me on beautifully to the air vents. Now, these air vents come with a really, really clever feature. You can obviously zip them open and have them rolled up. That gives lovely airflow throughout the bivy. Really nice experience. You know, when it's a hot, warm day, you don't want to be cooped up in that sort of trapped air and that lets airflow come out. But you can also pull them out and peg them down, okay? And that means if it does start raining, you still get the airflow, but you don't get the rain coming into the vents at the back. So that's another lovely feature. And I tell you, one of the things that I love the most, I mentioned it a few times before on other videos regarding the Frontier, is the little pouches inside. You've got four of them. Now, the most important thing when you use these little pouches is don't pack the bivy away and leave your car keys in them because I have done that a few times. They're so handy. I actually put my receiver in there, uh, car keys in there, whatever you want you can put in there. And there's four of them. So you sport for choice. You can put hook baits in there, I don't know. It's just a nice added extra and I think it's a really clever little design feature. I really do love this bivy. You've got the space, you've got so many features and even as you buy it, you know, as a single unit, you've got lots of bits in it, but you can get lots of brilliant added extras. You can get an inner dome, you can get a peak for the top, loads of options to explore. Short sessions, long sessions, this is brilliant. And then look, for a little man like me, I can pretty much stand up in it. Enjoy. <laughs>